Is there anybody on that team that you're, you're really concerned about? I mean, last week you guys really focused on LaVisca and, and uh, McMillan and shut them down. Is, is there anybody that really scares you on that Utah offense? Well, I think first and foremost, their offensive line is very talented. You know, they've got some guys returning from last year that have played a lot of football for them. Uh, they're, they're very physical up front. They do a really nice job in the running game. Moss, the running back, is very much a downhill or perimeter runner. Uh, you know, the quarterback is a true dual threat guy. And they got a lot of speed outside, so they can hurt you in a lot of different ways offensively. What do you take away from that Colorado win, the way the defense was able to play? Uh, you know, I was just happy with the way the guys executed the game plan. I thought we played together. Um, you know, it was one of the games this year that we were pretty good on third down, and that's always very important to us. How have you felt about your packages? I mean, you have a, a special third down rush packages for third and longs, and have, have you used a little bit more of those type of, of, of things, uh, specific down and distance packages this year? How have you felt about those? I think it's worked out to our advantage. I mean, a lot of it has to do with us getting the best 11 guys on the field during that situation, and uh, obviously that has changed some without having Porter. Uh, we're just trying to get our best guys out there. How do you how do you replace Porter? Well, you don't. I mean, uh, just everything from uh, you know work ethic, from getting helping people get lined up during the game, uh, from helping coach the younger guys at practice to playing and competing at a very high level. You know, he's somebody that you can't replace. You've used a, a number of different guys off the edge. Do, do you, does that give you a little bit more confidence that having to replace him, that, that you have some guys that have some experience yeah, so far there's this there's been some guys that have come on. You know, Hunter Eccles has done a nice job. Uh, Kanai's done a nice job the last couple weeks getting a little bit more playing time. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they've gotten that experience, uh, but that'll, that'll continue to escalate as we move through the rest of the season, which was our plan anyway, to try to take some reps off of Porter. Uh, as far as uh, uh, Nateota, EA, um, how do you see his role? Like, do you do you see him just staying at middle linebacker, or is he a guy you could try out at any of those other spots just to get him on the field? Um, you know, that's his best and most natural positions behind the ball, where he can key and diagnose. Uh, he's got very good eye control from sideline to sideline. He sees things very quickly to develop. So you like him in the middle where he can see the whole field. And if you put him outside, he's going to be on one side of the field. Um, you know, against Washington State, we played him some on the outside, and I think it just varies based on our packages in terms of uh, what the offense is trying to do. But his his most natural suit of position is inside. And uh, Clay had mentioned that maybe now it might be possible to have him come in and spell Cam a little bit more than he was in the season. Do you see that being a possibility? I have a lot of confidence in EA, and uh, you know, when when Cam is 100% healthy and and during a game, he felt like he would need a blow. I obviously would have no problem, haven't had a problem with doing it, and, and uh, wouldn't continue having a problem doing that. What stood out about his performance in that game? Mm, I just think his ability to key and diagnose. Um, you know, the, the game, you know, the time that I've been around him in fall camp to now, I think the game's really slowed down for him. He's a lot more comfortable in what we're trying to do defensively and what we're asking him to do. And so the more live reps he can get, the better he'll get. Is there an instinctiveness with him that's special, that different than other guys? Yeah, I mean, he, he definitely can pull the trigger quickly. Uh, you know, we talk about keying the triangle, and that's the first uncovered lineman to the tailback, and he does that pretty well. Um, you know, I had an opportunity to see it in fall camp before he got injured, and then, you know, throughout the practices here until you saw him in full game action as a middle linebacker. He's a special player. What is the key to activating Christian Rector and kind of getting him to where he was? early last year? Well, uh, you know, he's been close. He's had a lot of uh, production uh, from a quarterback hurry standpoint. Um, and he just hasn't got the sacks maybe that he had last year. You know, there's a lot of things that he does for us that's kind of unsung, whether it be, you know, moving up front or uh, taking on a tight end that maybe the, 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 the eye of the game doesn't really see. But I've been pleased with the way he's played, and I think his plays will come. He, you know, he and I have talked about it. He's not going to press. He's going to keep doing what we ask him to do, and uh, he'll be fine. What are some of the things you kind of work on this week to try and replace Porter, especially how productive he was in the past rushing? Yeah, I mean, that's you're not going to be able to replace him uh, in a lot of different areas. Just his, his uh, leadership, his work ethic, his help with younger players, and then the way he played on the field in a lot of different packages for us. So, uh, you know, we just got to kind of plug and play like we did last year when we didn't have him. And, and you know, we've got a myriad of guys that, that uh, fit that position where he left vacated, where you're talking about Christian or, or uh, you know, Jake Lichtenstein. 
uh, or Connor Murphy. Do you get any reassurance from the fact that Christian was productive there last year and Jordan Iasep was pretty productive at the Predator spot before? Uh, Does that, can you yeah, we, we got confidence you? in our guys. I mean, we're not going to change what we're doing defensively. They know the system, and, and uh, you know, we're still going to do the things that we've done. We just, just don't have more. This week, you know, you had to replace camp, and you got, you got probably you know, 15 tackles out of two guys that hadn't had never started before. Mm -hmm. uh, can you do that this week again? Well, I mean, it's, it's uh, we well, would like to think so. I mean, those those guys prepared well. They prepare well every week. They just haven't had their opportunity yet to get on the field. And uh, I was happy and proud with the way they, they played and they demonstrated that their hard work in the meeting room, in the film room, and in practice paid off. Um, but, you know, that, that week's behind us, and we're moving forward and trying to get better this week. How is that as well as you guys have played? You know, a game plan for three quarters anyway? Did mean, they execute it as you know, we, well as we, you know? I mean, uh, there were some things that, that uh, you know, you obviously would like to have done better, but any time in this conference you can hold somebody 20 points or less, you feel like you had a decent day. And, um, you know, we were right at that at the Arizona game and then last week as well. Just a couple more. What has Utah done better the past two weeks on offense? Um, you know, They've uh, run the ball better. They've uh, got themselves in a lot more manageable third down situations, and, and therefore they're winning on first down. Uh, so that's their, their offense is very impressive, and it's a completely different style offense than what we faced last week in Colorado.